1976, Finnish jazz rock guitarist composer Nono Soderberg released his debut solo album, Nono, and from it the track Seagull. first sound you hear is that eastern exotica flavor with that sitar sound that but so far but but beyond that that's not really what i'm getting i'm getting more of just kind of a like oh sunsetty like western jazz rock vibe the uh, uh, vibraphones in this kind of light. Okay, so far what I really like is the, the tone of the guitar, the uh, chords, the tonalities in them. I, I believe I'm hearing some major sevens. I, just pretty chords, that light searing guitar tone, and the subtle use of vibraphones. And that really sunny synthesizer in the background. really persistent percussion too but the the the, the vibraphones are, are just kind of adding a, a bit of glow to the proceedings So far, he's not really done anything virtuosic. Uh, he, he's not really been like showboating or anything. It's just the, the beauty of his tone. It's so simple. The, these parts are really simple, but the, the tone is, is unique. And I know that he could be, you know, going all razzle-dazzle at any moment he wants, but um, he's earning his keep as a guitarist band leader in a totally different way. I also really love the way it's mixed. His guitar, rather than being really front and center in the mix, it has a certain remoteness to it. Almost like it's coming through, coming from an adjacent room with really good acoustics. Characterize it, it's somewhat trebly. It's also got a thickness to it. You know, if I continually find different ways to explore this reoccurring chord sequence. Okay, no, 
now he really is starting to get a bit more virtuosic. He's been suddenly, little by little, playing a little bit faster, you know, each, each minute along. <laughs> Sunny keyboards sound like uh, those of the Oli Avanladi video. Well, they should because it's him. It's the guy. That's the same year as uh, the poet. <laughs> got um, only Avanlati and it's got uh, Pekka po Poiri on saxophone and flute who also ap appears on on Oli um, Avanlati's poet album yeah so uh, two uh, member crossover between the two albums between Nono and the poet <laughs> Hear that uh, acoustic guitar kind of low in the mix. Oli's turn to take a solo, although he's a little bit low in the mix here. Um, I'm hearing more kind of the bass and the drums. The bass is played by um, Heike Vertanen, who, uh, let's see, going back to the early 70s, was on Juka Tolanen's first solo album, was on uh, the Juka um, Haru information album, which I uh, covered on here a couple of months ago now, and Iro uh, Koivistoinen Music Society Wahoo. Yeah, three rather landmark, three landmarks in, in Finnish jazz rock. and. Uh, uh, Tessa Valon, Presidenti, Milky Way, Moses, and a few more Jukatolan and titles, as well as Charlie Mariano, yeah, um, which, also, which also had Oli on it. <laughs> In, in the mix, like um, with, well, the fourth, the, the acoustic guitar really low, yeah. Uh, no, no, was really kind of seeding ground for the time being for this, this passage. <laughs> Or uh, this this has that that kind of quiet storm sunsetty vibe to it. Except this is a, a bit more kind of flowing, a bit more rhythmic. You could say a bit more. <laughs> There's just a bit more energy, you could say. It's it's not as like um, tranquil or like hypnotic or just like lie back, like 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 aura. You could just kind of like lie back to, you know. This this is more keeps you 
Swain. <laughs> Of the two um, Oli elements on here, I prefer the synthesizer, the synth sustains that, that are just now creeping back into the mix. The, the uh, electric piano solo was all right, but um, I wish some of it was traded off with more of that vibraphone. getting just slightly more aggressive, starting to hammer down on certain notes and such, um, and indicating kind of uh, like, like uh, well, sig signaling the others to kind of return back to the song proper. What did it just tell you? American scene does this guitar sound remind me of I it's not the only time I've heard it but I, I I'm drawing blanks at the <laughs> right here and we've got like what uh five layers we've got latin percussion we got um <clears throat> a vibraphone we've got bass we've got synthesizer we've got guitar we've got six <laughs> For a couple of minutes in the middle, only three of them were really present, and I'm not necessarily sure they picked the right three to to carry that that middle. <laughs> Now, uh, no is getting a little bit more kind of close cadence, a bit sharper in his notes. Sometimes it almost uh, feels like the drummer's hitting like sheet metals. Everything counts on that fade out. Yeah, just those those final notes where they start where where the they, they don't actually okay they, they they just start playing randomly. They they get a little bit looser, a little bit more aggressive, knowing that they're kind of wrapping it up, but they just keep on playing, uh, not necessarily knowing what the final mix will what the final uh you know wind down will be and where we'll land and what notes will will end up in, in those last few seconds yeah um interestingly that that eastern exotic sound that we heard right at the beginning never reappeared throughout the track yeah um like i wish that could have made a reappearance in that that kind of iffy middle section 
But otherwise a great track. Um, maybe could have been trimmed, had like a minute taken out of the middle, or, or just um, a rearrangement of that section. But um, I, I really liked the track proper, um, Nono's guitar, the vibraphones, beautiful melody chords. Um, Oli, really great on, on the synthesizer, um, good rhythm section, you know. Uh, Philly, uh, giving us more than rhythm, giving us atmosphere, giving us, you know, mist, giving us, you know, fluid, kind of oily, uh, uh, like sonic elements and such. And yeah. Uh, Nono Soderberg, uh, the track Seagull from his 1976 release Nono, which would uh, appear to be his Ono release for another six years, released on Hi-Hat, another um, important Finnish label, had put out, oh, was put out albums by um, <coughs> Kalo... Calavella and uh, Juicy and uh, yeah, I guess they're and they are associated with Love Records and so there there's another tie another direct tie in with um, the Oli Avenlati clip and um, yeah his next uh, album as a band leader would be no no's next album as a band leader would be Rare Bird in 1982 yeah. And so 1976, a real high water mark for Finnish uh, jazz rock. Yeah, a lot of albums like this coming out that year. For more Rubies and Sapphires from the uh, Nono Sutterberg uh, Nono album, see the directory of albums by Finnish artists linked in the description below for Red Hot Tracks and Purples from all the artists I've been talking about here and in the last video, the Oli Avanladi video. Like and subscribe, follow me on social media, share the video, and leave a comment if there are any observations you have about the track we just heard, the interplay, the arrangements, the instrumentation, the sections of the track, the um, overall feel and vibe. Yeah, who was the best soloist? Yeah, was the best element, the most atmospheric, the most beautiful? And until next time, this is Aragon, the world's most ear-traveled Tramaximist, signing off.